got a question from Chris, who's basically what I would call a black belt in white belt's clothing. So Chris is a brand new white belt, air quotes on the brand new part, brand new white belt at his gym, and uh, he's been rolling and training, and when he trains, he submits all the higher belts or most of the higher belts. If he rolls with a white belt, I mean, he's killing them, and he says that... Uh, He's been training for about 15 years, right? He's had about 15 years of MMA and grappling experience. And so when he's in the gym, he's one of the toughest guys there. And so his issue, the, the reason why he sends a message to the chooser, he says, my issue is I feel guilty with my peers of the same rank or higher, knowing that oftentimes I have 15 times more experience in them. His question is, should I feel conflicted? Is this even an issue? And if it is an issue, is it something that the instructor should sort out? And so that's his question. So, Chris, thank you for the question, brother. And I mean, the, the, so, and I always do this part sometimes because I know some of you guys have your uh, attention span killed by uh, by social media, right? The TLDR version is it, it's the coach's job to sort it out. Now, that said, I do have a fun story to share with you. So, about four years ago, we had a real similar situation happen at my gym. Had a buddy of mine, Tom, who I had trained with back in like 2007, 2006. And, you know, he was fighting MMA back then and he, bought professionally and everything else. So he's training for damn near a decade, a little over a decade, comes into our gym because he's done fighting and he just wants to do jujitsu. He comes in and start training with us. And when he comes in, the very first day he shows up, he's got this kind of just old camo gi that he found or had or whatever. He's got his white belt on and he's got wrestling shoes. He doesn't look like a jujitsu guy. He doesn't have that like jujitsu guy look with a slick gi or anything like that. He just looks like, you know, some guy on his first day coming into class and he got a camo, a camo gi on Amazon somewhere or something. Comes in and then your class goes like normal. And then they eventually begin to roll, my students and everything. And uh, Tom starts to do what he does, right? And you got to remember, Tom had just come from an MMA background. So when he was rolling, I mean, he's rolling hard, right? So he rolls with one guy, chips his tooth. <laughs> he goes with another guy. And by the way, Tom's a smaller guy. He's not huge. He's like 160. He goes with another guy and he's just, I mean, he's just putting the business on him. And I have one of my students come up to me. He's like, hey, Chewy. I was like, what's up, man? He goes, are we being pranked? I was like, what do you mean? He's like, well, you know, you know those videos where the black belt comes in and dresses a white belt and they like roll with the students. Is that happening to us right now? And he kind of looks over at Tom. <laughs> and as I do, I look over at Tom and Tom's just working some dude. And I think to myself, oh, that's right. I didn't tell you guys. I forgot about it. So I get up, bring class in. Hey guys, Tom is not new. He has been training for a long time. You should consider him like purple, brown, black belt levels, somewhere in that range. He's tough. He's been training for a long time. And everybody's like, oh, okay. Then it became this funny thing where everybody's laughing. You know, we're joking about it. I'm like, oh, here comes the white belt. You know, call him a sandbagger and stuff because, you know, he was, he was very good. And so I put Tom on the Billy Madison plan. If you guys ever watched the movie, he basically, Adam Sandler's character in the movie just basically goes through the grades really quickly. And so that's what I did with Tom. We had him in there. We said, all right, man, let's do this. And as he's training, we got him to blue belt pretty quickly. And then there was just a few other things. We got him to purple. And now he's a brown belt. And he's where he should belong because, again, he's good. He's, he's a good guy to have on the mats. He works with people. He's very uh, positive. And he's also a tough training partner. So, again, in his skill-wise, that's where he belongs as a brown belt. And so we moved him up pretty quickly. So going back to you, Chris. I know you feel maybe kind of guilty. You probably have some integrity, so you don't want to be in a position where it's like you're taking advantage of your experience level over people. You know, people think that you're brand new and you're really not. As long as you sort of just make it known to your training partners and your coaches and stuff like that, that you have this experience level, it's all good. It's your coach's job to sort it out. And more than likely, what I think will happen is that a lot of times, and I've seen this happen in multiple cases, it'll become almost like a joke. Because, yeah, you'll be the white belt, but you don't belong as a white belt, right? You're, you're, you've been training for 15 years. That's a long time. And so more than likely, you'll probably have that kind of situation arise where people are going to be laughing, making jokes, cutting up, calling you a sandbagger or whatever. Um, and when you start getting your belt promotions, they're, they're all going to be like, finally, let's get this show on the road, man. Um, and again, one little sort of caveat or sort of not caveat, but little addendum there is that I know a lot of people, whenever I talk about belts or anything, people just, they, they, they lose their marbles on the internet. Because they say jiu-jitsu people focus on belts too much. And maybe that's true. Uh, but a lot of times, again, it's just a way to categorize for people. You know, again, in, in my gym, if most of our white belts and blue belts and purple belts, like they can hang with the comparable belts roughly, give or take. Now, we all have those freaks in our gym that might be the blue belt who's also a wrestler or the blue belt who's also just a freak athlete. And they can punch above their skill level a little bit, right? And 
beat people that are much higher level than them or much more experienced than them. But again, generally, it's just a nice way to categorize things. And again, it's just like anything else that has a rank. And even without ranks, I've seen this like in uh, wrestling and things like that, and even nogi gyms, people know the pecking order. They know where they belong within that. And so we all do that regardless of whether or not the structure is put there for us or we start to just understand how it's going to go. Uh, but anyway, going back to you, Chris, don't worry about it, bro. Your coach will sort it out. But until then, keep rolling. Just make sure everybody knows what your experience level is. And hopefully you enjoyed the story. I'll talk to you guys next time.